Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 4 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n, and this equals 1. We are solving for all values of n that satisfy this equation. Now, 4 is a perfect square, which is 2 to the power of 2. So we can simply have it as 2 to the power of 2, that is 4. Raised to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n. This equals 1. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n raised to the power of n. Outline this identity here. We have 2 power n raised to the power of 2 minus 2 power n equals 1. So from here, we can simplify this by easily representing 2 power n with a variable, let's say, x. You can say, let x equals 2 power n. So this will give us x power 2 because we have 2 power n here. Minus x equals 1. You move this over here. You have x power 2. Minus x minus 1 equals 0. Now we have this quadratic equation that we are going to solve. We can solve this using the formula method. So we write the formula in respect to x, that is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. The coefficient of x squared here is a. The coefficient of x, which is negative one, is our p. The negative one here is c, which is the constant. We have x equals negative p, that is negative times negative one, which is p, plus or minus square root of negative one, over two minus four times one, times negative one, divided by two times a, that is two times one. From here, we have x equals this, will give us 1, plus or minus, this is 1, this will give us plus 4, divided by 2, that is 2 times 1. From here, we have x equals 1, plus or minus, this is square root of 5, divided by 2. So at this point, we have two values for x. We have x equals 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Or we have x equals 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. So what is our x? Recall x equals 2 to the power of what? Our x equals 2 to the power of and we see it 2 to the power of n. So that means we are going to have 2 power n equals 1 plus root 5 divided by 2, or we have 2 to the power of n equals 1 minus root 5 divided by 2. So right here, this is positive because 2 power n will give us positive value. This also will give us positive, because 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 will give us positive value. So this will be accepted. But this is positive, 2 power n will give us positive value, but this will give us negative. If we want to solve this, we are going to have complex solutions. And we don't need that. So this is positive equating negative, which will give us complex solutions. This solution we are not going to include it in this particular video. So let's concentrate on this one here. 2 power n equals 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. Solving for n, we make use of log. Log of 2 power n equals log 1 plus root 5 
Evaripide too. Now, if you have log A to the power of B is equals B times log A. And also, if you have log A divided by P, this equals log A minus log P. We apply these two identities right here. So the first one we apply it here, this will give us N. Remember the N will come behind the log. We have N times log 2 because this is our A. This is P, so we have log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. So, this is n log 2 equals log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. So, isolating this n, solving for n, we divide this by log 2. We divide this by log 2. So this comes with this. You are simply going to have n and this equals log 1 plus root 5 divided by this is log 2 minus log 2. So let's separate it by dividing each of these by the common denominator. We have n equals log 1 plus root 5 divided by log 2 minus log 2 divided by log 2. So from here, we have n equals this comes with this. We have log 1 plus root 5 divided by log 2 minus 1. Now, if you have log A divided by log B, this equals log A to the base of B. We apply this right here. We have N equals log 1 plus root 5 to the base of 2 minus 1. So this becomes our final answer. Now, the next step will be for us to check by inserting this particular value back into the original equation. And let's see if it's going to satisfy this exponential equation. That will be interesting case. I think I asked somebody to do this in our last video. So let's use this opportunity to check. So we have n equals our solution is log to the base of 2 of 1 plus root 5 minus 1. And the question remains 4 power n minus 2 to the power of n equals 1. So we are simply going to have 4 power our n is this. We have log to the base of 2 of 1 plus root 5 minus 1 minus 2 power log to the base of 2 of 1 plus root 5 minus 1 and this gives us 1. So at this point let's apply this identity if you have a power n plus m equals a power n times a power n. We apply it here and here. But this is minus, so we are going to have negative there. We have 4 power log to the base of 2 of 1 plus root 5 times 4 power negative 1 minus we have 2 power log to the base of 2 of 1 plus root 5 
times two power negative one equals one. Now, four is a perfect square. We can express it as two power two. I have two power two of log to the piece of two of one plus root five times four power negative one minus have you seen this one here? There's a particular identity I want us to consider right now. The identity is, let me make a small space. If you have a to the power of log b to the piece of a, you are going to have b. This is 2 to the power of log another expression here, which is plus root 5 to the base of 2. This is our a, this is our a. So the outcome of this will give us only 1 plus root 5. You seen that? Using this identity. Then times 2 power negative 1 equals 1. Now, the next step will be to consider this identity. If you have a times log b, this is just like writing log b to the power of a. So the a will come on top of this. So these two here will come on top of this. So this will give us 2 power log to the base of 2 of 1 plus root 5 to the power of 2 times this is 4 power negative 1 minus 1 plus root 5 times 2 power negative 1 equals 1. Then we apply this same identity a power log a power log b to the base of a equals b. This is our a is a again, so this becomes our b, which becomes the output of that. So we have. 1 plus root 5 to the power of 2 times 4 power negative 4 minus 1 plus root 5 times 2 power negative 4 equals 1. Don't forget, if you have a power negative 4, this equals 1 over a. So applying that here, this is 1 plus root 5 power 2 times 1 over 4 minus 1 plus root 5 times 1 over 2 equals 1. So we multiply this out and we multiply this out as well. This square here means taking the square of this, so we have 1 plus root 5 times 1 plus root 5 divided by 4 minus 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 equals 1. Let's multiply this out. 1 times 1, 1, 1 times root 5, root 5, root 5 times 1, root 5 plus root 5 times root 5, root 25, divided by 4 minus is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 equals 1. So from here, we simply, this is 5, right? So we have 1 plus root 5 plus root 5, that is 2 root 5 plus 5 divided by 4. And what this is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 equals 1. So we take the common LCM. The common LCM here is 4. 4 divided by 4, 1. 1 times this, we have 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5. Then we have minus 4 divided by 2, 2. 2 times this, we have. 2 times 1 plus root 5 equals 1. 
from here we have 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5. Let's multiply this out. This is minus 2. Minus 2 root 5 divided by 4 equals 1. This is over 1. We cross multiply. From here on, 4 will multiply 1. We have 4. This we multiply 1. We have it. We have 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5. We have minus 2 root 5. So minus 2 root 5. Then we have minus 2. Everything there equals 4. So let's cancel out this. Cancel this. 1 plus 5. That is 6 minus 2 equals 4. So from here, 6 minus 2 is 4, and this equals 4. Left hand side equals right hand side. So this shows that our answer is obviously very correct. Step by step workings. I believe you already enjoyed this video. So that is it guys. Don't forget to share this video to your friends. It's a step by step process, and I believe you have gotten a value. So guys, that is it, and that is how you can actually solve this exponential problem. The first step, and the most important step, is to ensure that you express them in your common basis. 4 is a perfect square, that is 2 power 2. After that, you change the exponent using this identity. Then you substitute this and this, so that the equation will be simplified. Then you solve this using the formula method. Then you are going to have two different answers, which are this and this. Solve for the real solution. Solve for the real solution because this is giving us complex solution because this value here is greater than one. From there, you recall the original problem, and from there you substitute to power n, and you solve for n by taking the log of both sides of this equation. After taking the log, you solve for n, and you are definitely going to have this particular solution. There, so there are some identities that I have taken. I believe you should follow up the process. So guys, that is how you can actually solve this exponential problem step by step and get into the original or to the final answer. So that is it. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe, like I said earlier on, and leave a comment if you feel like and if there's any question you don't understand, if there's any point, you can drop it in the comment box. Somebody will attend to you or if I see it, I will attend to you. Thank you.